Hi, I'm Greg Benfield. This short screencast is one of a series by the Oxford Centre for Staff and Learning Development on reflective writing. This one has two main purposes. I'll highlight some of the key elements that good reflective writing should incorporate, but the main purpose is to give you some ideas about how to offer feedback to others on their reflective writing. We're going to look at a paper by a lecturer in healthcare reflecting on teaching in the health sciences. This was a formative assignment, a draft that was submitted for feedback only. So in giving feedback, I'm going to take into account that the paper's in early stages, it's unfinished. So I want my comments to be offered in a dialogic style as part of a conversation, which might be ongoing for some time. I need to pay attention to telling the author what I think is good in the paper and why I think it's good. And where I think there's room for development, I'll try to ask questions or to make probing comments about some of those ideas. This first comment is an example of both these ideas. I'm telling the author I like the way the paper's been introduced, but I'm also asking them to think about why they've presented the UK PSF as the main framework for the paper and to think about whether that's the best one. You can see why I raise this issue in this next paragraph, where another framework has been introduced. Now, it's almost always helpful to use a well-known reflective writing framework as a structural device for your writing, especially if you're not used to writing in this way. It helps you to address the key elements of a good reflective piece, and at the same time, it helps the reader to understand the logic in the narrative. But maybe the author needs to think about whether less is more with frameworks at this point. These comments, uh, I'm telling the author I've noticed good practice using evidence outside of themselves to reach conclusions about future, act future actions and addressing either plans for action or actions that have been taken. The middle comments are just one of those usual, very minor ones about uh, the use of a citation. The first two comments here go together. Notice that in the second one, I'm alerting the author to a sentence that I found ambiguous, one that might need further elaboration. Notice that I'm trying to give them some information about the reactions that I had to that statement myself. The next two comments are about the argument that the author is making. Notice that I'm not telling the author that I think they're wrong. I am telling them some of the reactions I had to their argument and I'm asking them to think about how well communicated and how well justified their conclusion is. And I'm offering some other ideas to think about around this. One of the things we're looking for in good reflective writing is analysis leading to changes to practice. So these last questions, I'm asking the author here to think about whether they've said all they need to on this point. This paper has several further sections of about this length, but I'll leave it here. I think I've made the main points. Thanks for listening. I hope this was useful. Bye for now.